What happens when you finally kick the bucket, so to speak? Despite our mostly science-grounded views on death these days, it seems many of us believe in life after it. In 2014, UK citizens were polled by The Telegraph, and just under 60% of respondents said they believe some part of us lives on. In the US, still a very Christian nation, Pew Research in 2015 asked people what happened after you die. The survey found that 72% of Americans believed you go to heaven, which was described as a place where people who have led good lives are eternally rewarded. 54% of US adults replied that they believed in hell, which was described as a place where people who have led bad lives and die without being sorry are eternally punished. With that in mind, welcome to this episode of the Infographic Show, What Happens When You Die. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button so that you can be part of our notification squad. It seems a lot of people do believe that after death we might be ensconced in some cloud-strewn paradise, or conversely, if we haven't adhered to the ethics prescribed to us by our chosen religion or denomination of that religion, we might be faced with eternal hellfire and the prospect of groveling to a bearded red man who hardly ever puts down his pitchfork. But let's start with some empirical realism and what actually happens to the body when we die. Physicians know you're dead because the heart stops beating and there is no longer any electrical activity in your brain. Brain death equals dead, although machines can keep you going a little bit longer. You can also have what's called a cardiac death, which means the heart stops beating and blood no longer flows through your body. The strange, even wonderful thing is, people that have suffered cardiac death but have been brought back to life have said they were aware of what was going on around them. Others have talked about walking towards a light in such a near-death experience. You can be brought back from what we call clinical death, but you only have a grace period of about four to six minutes. But let's say you get to the light and pass through. This is what we call biological death. Game over, the final whistle, dead as a dodo. This is where it gets kind of undignified, but what do you care, you're dead. Once you're definitely no longer with us, your muscles relax, and this means your sphincter will too, meaning that triple whopper and large fries you had for lunch will spill out of you. The gas you have in you may also leak out and cause a stink. The same goes for the pee you've got in your bladder. So dying, not surprisingly, is a bit of a messy affair. And men, you might even ejaculate. As for women, you may give birth after you have died if you were pregnant, which is something called coffin birth. It doesn't happen often though. Instead of pushing, it's the gases in the abdomen that squeeze the newborn into the world. As the body gets rid of what is trapped inside, noises may be emitted from your mouth as air escapes. Nurses and people working close to dead bodies have regularly reported hearing very alive sounding moans and groans coming from dead bodies. You may twitch, but this doesn't mean there is life in you, these are just muscle contractions. You could also soon get an erection if you died lying on your stomach and the blood flowed down there. All your blood will pool to a certain area of your body. This is called liver mortis, and it's the reason parts of you will have that dark purple color you have seen on TV. These are the lovely things that can happen quite shortly after you go. With no blood flowing through your body, it will begin to cool down, known as alger mortis, or simply death chill. It will keep cooling until it is the same temperature as your surroundings, you will become stiff within about 2-6 to six hours, and this we call rigor mortis. This is because calcium is getting into your muscle cells, cells break down without blood flow, and this leads to bacteria growth, and that's why you start to decompose. You may look like your hair or your nails have grown, but that isn't the case. What is happening is that your skin is receding, giving the impression of growth. The skin will loosen too, and blisters will appear on the body. The next stage is putrefaction, when bacteria and microorganisms start feasting on you. You'll soon start to stink as bad as anything you could have imagined while you were alive. One person described the smell as rotten eggs, feces, and a used toilet left out for a month times 1000. It is unholy. Soon everything that is soft becomes liquefied, with things like bones, cartilage, and hair remaining strong. You're already well on your way to decomposing by the time you are being put in the ground, but if embalmed and buried, decomposition could be a slow process. Left above ground, you'll be a liquefied mess within about a month, feasted on by insects, maggots, plants, and animals. Underground, some experts say it might take 8 to 12 years before you are reduced to nothing but a skeleton. After around 50 years, even your bones will become part of the earth. We should add the rate of decomposition depends on all manner of factors, too many to list here, but we think you get the picture. While some people report that their near-death experience was a scene to behold, that's not always the case. One person writing on Reddit said his experience was as follows, it was just black emptiness, no thoughts, no consciousness, nothing. Is there really something else? French philosopher René Descartes believed the soul was separate from the body, as many religions will tell you, and perhaps when we die, something lingers on. 
Friedrich Nietzsche talked about the concept of eternal recurrence, or eternal return, meaning all existence or energy in the universe has forever and will forever keep repeating itself ad infinitum. You live the same life again and again forever. Now doesn't that make you want to live well? Here we can make similarities to the Buddhist belief of the Wheel of Samsara, wherein all souls or lives will begin a cycle again after death, except not the same exact life. Something we call reincarnation, which some people say is connected to what we sometimes call deja vu. Buddhists believe we can end this vicious cycle if we can become truly enlightened, therefore achieving nirvana. Or do we make our way to heaven after our bodies stop working, tipping our cap to St. Peter at the pearly gates, hoping he won't deny us entrance for stealing that candy bar when we went on a school trip to Niagara Falls? Will we be taken into paradise, a place replete with excellent foods and gorgeous maidens that make your dead knees go weak? Or will we simply seed the earth, our souls nothing more than a worldly fancy that took our minds off our cosmic insignificance and the feeling of futility that we sometimes experience here on terra firma? While this video was pretty grim, let's for a second step away and think about your life now and how you can make it better. If you are one of the many living people who are running a business or thinking of starting one, you probably need a website. But since we all have limited time on earth, you don't want to spend too much time figuring out how to set everything up and then keep on worrying about maintenance. We share that mentality, and that's why we love using Squarespace. Squarespace has a huge library of beautiful designer templates so that you can be up and running within minutes. You will never again have to install, patch, or upgrade any components on your websites ever again. If you already have your domain and are hesitating about switching to Squarespace because of that, there's nothing to worry about. You can now transfer your third-party domains to Squarespace. Instead of working with multiple vendors to maintain your online presence, you are able to manage all of your domain and billing settings with Squarespace and take advantage of their easy-to-use DNS interface. Do you hear that? That's destiny calling, and it says you need a new website, so make it with Squarespace. Check out squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com infographics to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain.